Welcome back. We begin this half hour with a signature issue here at 2017, pedestrian safety. A 2021 study by nonprofit Smart Growth America says Bakersfield is the second most dangerous city in the country for pedestrians. This year has been deadlier than ever, especially on Union Avenue. 17's Moses Small joins us live from Union with a look at how local leaders are fighting back against this unsettling trend. Good evening, Moses. Tammy, good evening. A group of city council members are calling on the state to make Union Avenue a safer place to walk and bike. This comes after a string of deadly crashes. The current state of Union Avenue is a threat to the health and safety of our community. It's no secret Union Avenue has a safety problem. Three Bakersfield City Council members teamed up Wednesday urging Caltrans to fix the road. We gotta calm the traffic. There's no reason for people to go so fast. Uh, we have to improve uh, the lighting uh, for pedestrians along Union Avenue. We have to ensure that we have sufficient crosswalks. There are no bicycle lanes. It's got a lot of pedestrian traffic and it wasn't designed for a lot of pedestrian traffic. This is a very difficult intersection. It's got five or six you know, streets coming and going different ways. And throughout the nation, roundabouts are deemed to be safer now. This comes just days after a woman died at the intersection of Union Avenue and 20th Street. And that's far from the only devastating crash this year. Kern County has seen a record 53 pedestrian fatalities. Seven were killed on Union Avenue. And we know that there are there are dollars available. There's state has a surplus budget, um, so funding is not the issue. It's just a matter of will. Caltrans told 17 News more than six months ago they were aware of the safety issues on Union Avenue and in the process of changing them. Meantime, city leaders say they've waited long enough. City council members plan to send a formal request to the state to make improvements to Union Avenue. In Bakersfield, Moses Small, 17 News.